What's up everyone, welcome back to another video with the Millennial Finance. It's been a while since we did our last review for Rakuten. Even though they launched US and Hong Kong share trading last year, in my opinion, there was still some stuff lacking from the platform. To be fair, they have been moving towards the right direction and they've also shown commitment to making progress. Last month, they announced lower brokerage fees and a revision to their rewards program, whereas in May, they're launching fractional share trading in the US, which in my opinion is a game changer. So today, I'll be going through these changes and what they mean for us as traders and investors. If you're interested in signing up for Rakuten, then use our link down below, you'll get some Rakuten points, and they're also running a nice promotion till the end of May, so if you want to find out more about that campaign, just stay tuned till the end of this video. The first thing that we'll be talking about is fractional share trading, which Rakuten has just introduced. This of course only applies to US share trading. I don't think there are any other platforms out there that offers fractional shares for both Bursa and Hong Kong stocks. In fact, both of those exchanges still trade in lots, meaning every purchase is at least 100 shares and they probably don't have the liquidity to support fractional share trading. Anyway, Rakuten will be the first Malaysian broker that I know of to support fractional share trading in US stocks, which is a big move. It will be applicable to all US stocks and ETFs available on the platform, as well as any new ones that will be added down the line. All you have to do is insert the quantity amount that you want to purchase up to a maximum of two decimal points. Unlike some brokers in the US, you will not be able to purchase fractional shares in dollar value, you will have to insert the actual quantity of shares that you want to purchase. This isn't so much of a big deal. I mean, at the end of the day, you can still see the estimated transaction value to know how much you will roughly pay. So the minimum quantity of a stock or ETF that you can purchase on Rakuten will be 0.01 units. So for example, you can now decide to buy something like 0.55 shares of Apple. This means that you don't have to commit to an entire share every time you want to invest in Apple, which is, as of the time that we're recording this video, worth 166 US dollars. In my opinion, this is a great feature for Rakuten to introduce for a few reasons. The first one is fractional shares lowers the barrier to entry, especially for new investors. Buying a share of a stock can be challenging, especially for higher priced stocks like Mercado Libre. This is a great e-commerce fintech company based in Latin America. It trades in the US and the current share price is about 1,300 US dollars. This means that previously, when you were forced to buy shares in its whole value, Every time you wanted to invest in Mercado Libre, you'd have to fork out at least 5,000 ringgit. Even stocks like Amazon and Google used to be priced well over $1,000 before they did their recent stock splits. Now, instead of having to commit a huge amount to buying a stock like Mercado Libre, you can now decide to do something like, you know, invest in just 0.1 shares of it and pay a much more reasonable 500 ringgit. If you want to go even lower than that, then you can, because like I said, Rakuten supports up to two decimal points. You can go like, you know, 0.01 units as well. Some people might say that if you can't afford to buy an entire stock, then you shouldn't be investing in the first place, which in my opinion is complete rubbish. Of course, there will be some drawbacks, but starting off with small amounts gives you the hang of investing and lets you make mistakes with a small portfolio before it eventually grows as we age. It's better to make mistakes when our portfolio value is small. So let's say if your portfolio is worth 1,000 ringgit, if you lose 30%, yes, it is painful 300 ringgit, but it's a lot less painful than losing 30% on a 100,000 ringgit portfolio. The second reason that fractional shares are great is that it allows for easier diversification. Instead of being able to just buy, you know, one or just two stocks, you can now purchase as many stocks as you want because of the lower barrier to entry, like I was just talking about previously. The average person should not have portfolios that are so concentrated in just a few stocks because we never know what will happen. Previously, we may be forced into this scenario if we didn't have big portfolios, but with fractional shares, diversification has just gotten so much easier. And the final reason that fractional shares are great is that it gives you better control over your investments. Let's say, for example, you want to follow a very common portfolio management strategy, which is the 60-40 portfolio where you invest 60% of your portfolio value in stocks and the remaining 40% into bonds. Without fractional shares, it may be difficult for you to balance your portfolio to hit this 60-40 ratio just because of the fact that different stocks, different bonds all have different prices. So instead of doing mental math about how many shares of a bond, how many shares of stock 
you need to purchase with your portfolio value to hit that 60-40 ratio, you can now just simply purchase fractional shares and ensure that the dollar values are 60-40. So fractional shares not only gives you a lower barrier to entry, it also helps you with diversification and gives you better control over your stock portfolio. Having said that, there are a few cons to fractional shares trading. A lot of them are very minute, I would say it doesn't really matter, but the most glaring one will be the higher transaction fees. Because of the way brokers operate in terms of fees, it's usually a fixed fee or a minimum fee that you have to pay, so obviously the lower the transaction value, the higher the percentage you're paying in fees. For example, if you wanted to invest just 100 ringgit into a stock, Rakuten previously had a minimum fee of 7 ringgit, which translates to 7% of your entire investment value. This doesn't really make sense because then fees will really start to eat into your gains. So good thing Rakuten realized this because otherwise their fractional share trading would be useless, I would say. Which brings us to the second change that Rakuten have made this year, which is to lower brokerage fees. They've now lowered the minimum amount that you have to pay in fees for stock trading, and this one will apply to all markets. Essentially, for all trades below 700 ringgit, you will no longer get charged 7 ringgit in fees as a minimum. Instead, you'll now pay just a 1% fee with a minimum amount of 1 ringgit. So, if you had that same 100 ringgit that you wanted to invest into a stock, Previously, you would have to pay 7 ringgit. Now, you will only pay 1 ringgit in fees. Some people might think, what are you doing investing in just 100 ringgit? Don't worry about it. Trust me, even when I started, I found it challenging to invest into stocks with Rakuten due to the fees that I've mentioned. Having said that, I honestly wouldn't recommend investing into stocks with less than 100 ringgit per transaction because then again, the fees will really start eating into your profits. So as long as you purchase, you know, a minimum of 100 ringgit every single trade, then I would say it's completely fine. This change is perfect for those of us who want to take advantage of the fractional share introduction to DCA into our stocks every single month. As not all of us can put a large lump sum of money into our investments, something like, you know, 200 ringgit into a stock or ETF makes so much more sense now due to the savings that we get from lower minimum fees. One thing to note though, that the next tier of their fees, which starts at a minimum of 9 ringgit, has now been lowered to 700 ringgit in trading value versus 1000 ringgit previously. So if you're investing with that amount of value, then we've done the math and it's actually cheaper to convert your money into USD and pay those fees instead. If you guys did not know, Rakuten does have different fees for US stock trading based on whether you're using Malaysian Ringgit or USD to purchase those shares. If you're not sure about how to convert your currency or how it works on the Rakuten platform, you can check out our previous video here. Rakuten also gave me better access to fractional shares a few weeks back where I've tried it out and made some purchases myself. As you can see, I bought 1.5 shares of an ETF called SCHD worth about 490 Ringgit. So my fees for this, I paid 4 ringgit and 92 cents, which is roughly 1%. To round this all off, Rakuten has also revised their point system to give you 1 Rakuten point for every 1 ringgit you spend on brokerage fees versus the previous 1 point for every 2 ringgit. You can convert these Rakuten points into other loyalty programs like Big Pay Points, Bonus Link, and some other one that I can't remember. But personally, I will just use this to offset my brokerage fees. So in my opinion, these two changes have really been huge for Rakuten and has made it a lot more attractive for both long-term investors and short-term traders. Yes, if you have a huge portfolio already, then maybe these two changes don't really matter, but it will significantly lower the barrier to entry for new investors. I honestly haven't invested anything into US stocks through the Rakuten platform, but with these changes, I've already started to do so just a bit and I might continue to do so over the long run. If you're interested in signing up for Rakuten, use our link down below. You'll get some Rakuten points to start off. We'll get a nice kickback from Rakuten and really appreciate the support for this channel. As mentioned earlier in this video as well, they will have a campaign till the end of May for all new and existing users who have not yet activated US share trading. All you have to do is activate it, make your first trade, and you will get 0.1 shares of Apple for free. Thanks for watching this video to the end guys. Give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.